What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're down here at Glendale and today we're going to run the Axial SEX10 Pro. We've got a 1500Z battery in it and I'm going to tell you, Z has never sent me anything or endorsed me in any way. Uh, there's been other battery companies that sent me batteries, but these are hands down the longest lasting batteries I've ever had since I started this channel, which is probably going on four years now. But this is the SEX10 Pro. It's got a Fusion SE. I think it's the higher one. I think it's the, uh, maybe it was the 18, 1800. And it's got the GX Servo, which I really like, 40 kilograms, and it's mounted on the axle, axle mounted servo. I run it in a 30% overdrive all the time. It's got the J-Concept tusk on it, and they're real dirty. Last time I run this, it was real muddy. And uh, that's pretty much about it, stock pinion. I had a little problem with it uh, last time I drove it. I thought I broke it, but the uh, dogs wasn't engaging in on the transmission. In other words, it wasn't all the way into 30% overdrive. It's jumping in and out, making a clicking noise. But we got it fixed. We're gonna run it down here just like you see it. I hope you enjoy this video. Well, here we go, we're gonna run it. Start it off in the drive, we're gonna run it just like you've seen it. Dirty, muddy, dirt all over the tires. And yes, that's the, really the way I say tires. I say it that way. That's just the way I was raised and where I come from. There we go, yes sir. Don't you just like the noise of that transmission? I just love the way the transmission sounds. As you can see, we can get a little bit more aggressive with this truck. Well, it's got that 30% in the rear. It's uh, axial. I think they took two years developing this truck is what I was told. You can see as I was a a lot of my other trucks i just baby it across because i don't know how it's going to react this truck right here is it's pretty much predictable especially if you got the right tire and foam set up i got the tusk i got the yes sir super softs in the front and softs in the rear i got a little cheap set of uh carbon fiber wheels you can buy them off alibaba or i mean aliexpress or you can buy them on amazon uh, either way they're the same and the way you can tell is uh let me turn this truck upside down and show you the way you can tell i even got them in 2.2s uh on my bomber the way you can tell is the etching let me see if i can show it to you see the etching on the inside of the wheel here the etching if it's etched out like that it's, it's a good set of wheels because like I said, I've got, I think I've got two sets of the 1.9s and one set of the 2.2s. And I got another set at home. I'm fixing to build and test out some uh, experimental foams for a friend. And uh, see how they do. So I'm sticking with these wheels right now. Because the lighter you can get your wheels, the more torque you're going to be able to create. And you don't want rolling weight, of course, you know, unless you're just trying to get by until you can get something better. You want axle weight, like diff covers, shock links, stuff like that. Because the further out you get weight from the axle, axial, from the actual, excuse me, transmission, the harder it is going to be to pull. It's like the other day a guy was asking in one of our little groups which way to run the uh, drive shafts from the transmission out to the axles. I said, I always run mine. The heavier, heaviest end goes toward the tra towards the transmission. And the reason I want the heaviest end towards the transmission because the far away from the uh, source of power you get the weight, the more stress you put on the motor and the transmission. So you want it as close as it can be. I'm just uh, 
what they we call it babbling around here what they call it banter in some countries i'm just running my mouth y'all but i'm you know i didn't learn all this most of it i was taught from uh people that you know real nice in the hobby and didn't mind sharing stuff with me and that's what makes the hobby so great we're in this together we're just doing this to take our mind off the real world and to be able to uh cope i love this hobby been in a lot of different hobbies in my life but yeah and you'll see people there they pick up a hobby, you know, when they have something really bad. Not really bad, but something going on in their life that they're not happy with. And then once they get it worked out, a lot of times they just drop out of the hobby. And I'm going to be honest with you, I, I, I've seen it happen many a times, and I've even done it myself. And I miss them, but uh, I'm just happy they're doing better, you know. we're friends whether we out here playing with these trucks or not i've even told a friend of mine before i said man you know we don't even have to bring these trucks out here as far as i'm concerned we can just walk down this trail maybe bring a fishing rod you know these trucks is what made us friends but we're friends for life bro and that's the way it is with most of my friends uh, a lot of times i might not see them but once or twice a year but we both got that bond like we got each other's back thick or thin we got each other's back you know you can call me you ain't saw me in two years you can call me at three o'clock in the morning so bro i need some help unless i'm setting up in the hospital hooked up to a life support i'm gonna be there oh check it out check it out yes sir yes sir yes sir You know, that's the way I think friendship should be. I think I drunk too much coffee before I left the house. Get up there, there you go, there you go, there you go. I can't even remember what I did on this little, on little training area here and what I hadn't did. Be real careful right here, you on the edge of either making it happen or going home with your head between your legs. Ooh, like that. See there, I just said, talking a little jump. I can't, I think I did I do this already? I don't know. Does it really matter? No, it don't matter. Watch it walk over there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think Danny was the first one to show me that little climb. Yeah, hindsight RC. I ain't seen it. Well, I did crawl with him not, not too long ago. It wasn't too long ago. I crawled with him. It wasn't that long ago. He brought his uh, high-low out, and we compared it with the chilo. It, it did outperform the... Uh, Chilo, if I recall correctly. Now we're trying some stupid stuff. This is why I have to work on my trucks all the time because of stuff like like this right here. Oh, yes, sir. Now we're back out of that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Coming into this old place here backwards, ain't we? Sit down, sit down. There you go. Ain't nothing better to watch than a good tune suspension. And I didn't have nothing to do with this one. The developers, at Axial, owned by Horizon Hobbies, is the one that done all this. And made it happen, baby. If 
All right, let's get down from here and go to the house. Or we break something. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that video and just leave a comment down below. It can be on emoji, a high sign, you know, whatever you want to do. It really helps the channel a whole lot. And I appreciate it. And remember till next time, I love you, but God loves you more.